How's it going guys? Yeah, I'm back here. Sorry it's been a while lads. And lasses, who's lasses watching? I don't know what you think of that, but being busy, I had things to do and like being on top of me, so I'm really struggling to pay it, so yeah. Let's not disappoint you anymore. As you can see we are third, two games in hand on first, six points off. But you know, if we win these two games in hand, it's more than possible we go top in time for obviously the second round of fixtures. And um, we'll be showing you a game against Barnsley here. Who are seventh and seven points off us. It's been a while left up on that guys. <laughs> but yeah, it's been a very, very good season. And but we got to the North J JPT uh, semi finals. Knocked out on penalties unfortunately, um Ben Pringle missing there. But you know we, we had a pretty good one of our best results I considered. Um we should find it here yeah, against against um Scunthorpe. I can't even see it. Yeah, it's six minutes against Scunthorpe, um see John Mark Clement there. For hat trick. Goals have not been a problem at all. I mean, you can see four nine against Hartlepool, four one against Kidderminster, three 0 against Pop Vale. Goals are not so difficult for us to come down to beat them again <laughs> when we play in the league. So you know, it's good to see that we can be scoring goals quite consistently. But yeah, the players I'm very, very happy with a lot of players. Rig is already rumoured to be leaving us so it's going to be weird if we get offers in in January but as you can see 21 goals it is now the 31st of December he's got 21 goals already so I'm predicting a ridiculous season for this young guy um, so that played 21 14 goals 4 assists in the couple he's got 7 goals he's played 6 um, yeah it's <laughs> he's he is um, how old is he he's ridiculous 22 years old and he's going to be getting maybe 40 goals a season potentially. We're still getting to two games left in the league, so it's more than likely he could break a 40 goal mark, which I think is going to be ridiculous if he can. But you see, Kieran Agard, who was already at the club, so he's not making a stand and sure how many hopes did get a goal. He's he's good to put on just to basically be a lazy to up front. But yeah, guys, that's how I'm going so far with the performances wise. Um, I'll take you point in depth transfer. You see, Bruno Romero, David Noble went. wasn't really a fan of him. He's going to be wasting a lot of space. Bruno Romero, who was not meant to be that good, he's proven to be a vital part of my defence. Seeing so Adeluso, who is just basically there for backup. Sure, I'm going to bring the experience you've seen. He scored a goal. Then Jean Marc Clement, who is my third football scorer. And obviously, the big man, Daniel Rick. So, yeah, guys, we're going to go to the game. Lando Perez. Captain, it's changed him because um, another captain's injured. I'm just going to tag back to him again. Pitch resumed. Let's go for this game, guys. We've been scoring quite consistently all season, so I'm hoping I can, we're going to bring you a good goal fest today. But these look like a good, like, a well, very, very, very well set up squad. Um, so, what I'll do is I'll show you their team. Oh, I can't at the moment. After this highlight, oh, no goal. Whoa. Right, I'll pause this and I'll take you through the team. Yeah, they have Alex McCarthy in goal. Um, who else have you heard of? You might have heard of Thomas Swiker. Swiker. Obviously, you heard of Mido. And if this is the Wiseman, I think it is. Scott Wiseman. You might have heard of him. He's one of the lower league players. But yeah. Unusual series in this league. I mean, you'd expect these to be in. Um, well, Daniel Riggs just scored. As you can see, he just got goals up in the one. So that's his 22nd goal of the season, and we've still got one game left in the league until we play the, the last half of it. So that was a good one. Now he comes 20 over for running. Ball in, diagonal. Oh, Shira. Shira's been very surprising to me. Like, I didn't expect him to be that good. Agard. Bosh, Agard. He was already at the club. He's been at the club for three seasons now. He's only really just started performing how you would have hoped to. But yeah, uh, Shira's been a very, very good keeper, and I didn't think he would be able to. I've been trying to find one that I could sign and would add lots of the team as Kennedy. Dagnall Mido. Mido. Yeah. <laughs> Premiership division. Is it Premiership Calibre, I should I say. Premier Division Calibre. So having scored against us doesn't make a difference, but obviously Shearer's been a very, very good player this season and I don't exactly 
Turns out he fought the guy. We've been... It's mainly the defence we fail at, because they do break through an awful lot. So, you know... But it's something you have to, like, deal with, I suppose. First Kirk. Daniel Philippe was also at the club already. And um, rumoured to be that big, big team. So, potentially, at the end of the season, we could, use, we could lose First Kirk and Rig. I mean, obviously, I want to keep Rig. If we get promoted, I don't see why we can't keep all of them. Well, you know, well, obviously, we're going to struggle if a big club comes, but I don't see why we can't try and keep all of them. I don't see why we want to stay. I mean, he's going to be getting game time. He's obviously had a very, very good season so far. And Daniel Rig's there again, and he's got some all oh, off the crossbar. I thought he scored then, guys. It looked like he had. But here we go. That's full time, guys. I'll change this back. Country only, and there you go. 3 1, a nice three points. I took a fight to get to the top before the switch around. You see, the game in the hand is against Bristol Rovers, who are down to 16th. So, hopefully, we can get some points there. But we won't play that game for a while, I don't think. So, we've waited till the 14th of January until we play that game. So, we'll continue. If now we can see uh, he's offered to put people on the rack, sure, I mean, he'll be one of them. He would don't think that'll be happening, to be honest with you. But yeah, I'll show you. I think it's rebel there. I'll tell you guys, we'll go th I'll go through this for you. We'll go through this here. So we can see exactly who he is. He's 31, he's not worth it. Ian Sharps, 34. I'm trying to really in the herd, if you know, if you, if that's a death for you, that way you like, but. Obviously the keeper I don't mind adding a year on because I can always release him. But the older players I don't really want to keep on and try and try and sign younger versions that are just as good. But um yeah guys, I'm just gonna final I'm gonna take you off to first kirk. First kirk for three years. Is it really you know it's personal things? Blackburn full of interested, big club breeze clause and you sort that out. Daniel Brig, personal. He's insecure at the moment. His personality shows he's insecure. No interest at the moment, but you know, it probably will be. Uh, General Trigg did tell me he saw the, the big cover he's for, but that was so he saw in the sign of so. 